Michael, the market is suggesting that the Fed could be moderating uh, its interest rate hikes this year. But Chair Powell has said he's going to go to 11. That's a, a spinal tap reference, not the reference to the Fed funds rate. But but is there a risk that he could get more hawkish because he's already said we have more tools in the other direction than we do to tame inflation. We would rather overdo this, overshoot the mark and then print more money and put more into the system if we need to. Yeah, I think the Fed has been uh, extremely clear that they are focused on a 2% inflation target, that they don't want to repeat some of the mistakes of the past, and that they're going to keep the uh, level of the federal funds rate pretty high for long enough uh, to convince them that inflation is uh, coming down. Now, what could change that? One thing that could change that would be the unemployment rate rising to a level that the Fed feels is is too high. That will be a, a qualitative subjective judgment. Something else that could change that is significant volatility in financial markets. I think we could have both of those uh, or or one or the other in 2023. Uh, something else that could change that is that the economy goes into uh, recession sooner than than people think. I think you know my expectation is that the recession will likely begin in the middle or in uh, the second half of the year. Maybe that maybe that happens earlier. That it begins in January or February. Uh, but I think I think rates are going up. Markets expect rates to go to about five percent. I think that's too low. I think rates are going to go substantially above five percent. Uh, and and then I think they're gonna they're gonna come back down when the economy softens and when when inflation looks like it's closing in or at least on a on a clear path back down to two percent. Betsy, what do you see as the guiding principles of the Fed in the next six months? Uh, you know, there's carnage in the housing market. There's a suggestion that maybe the unemployment rate might not actually get that high and that where you would see the fallout in the labor market is in job openings and some of the jolts data. What are you looking at? Well, I think it's important to realize that the, the Fed sees themselves as having sort of two tools right now to bring inflation down. One is bringing rates high, and then the other is keeping them high for, for longer. And I think one thing we're going to see for sure is, you know, for a while, markets had priced in that we might see some cuts in rates in 2023. I don't see any cuts in rates in 2023. I don't know. I, you know, I personally think they need to be careful not to bring them too high, that they slow and steady is the the right uh, <clears throat> process right now because we are seeing inflation coming down and we do want to try to avoid that recession. I don't think, you know, Michael just described the, the recession as if it's definitely coming. Uh, I do not think we necessarily have to have a recession. I think it's quite uh, possible we could avoid it. Uh, but there are a lot of risks out there. Uh, there are risks in the in global economic markets. You know, what happens in China? What happens in Europe? What happens with Russia and Ukraine? What happens with the price of oil? All those are risks to the U.S. economy. But another risk we have, our internal risk, is that the Fed raises rates too fast, too high. And as a result, we have a Fed-induced recession. And I think the Fed is working hard to try to avoid that, but that's definitely a risk. But they'll also point out that another risk is that people mm -hmm. come to expect inflation at three, four yeah. percent, and they just can't get it below there. And so that's why they're going to, I think, hold the line, and they're not going to bring rates okay. down until they're really convinced.